Thank you for clicking on this video. This is Meek. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if you already haven't and check out a lot of my other GarageBand tutorials, okay, for the MacBook. Today, I have something very cool and useful to you and for your workflow, and it's using Arcade, okay? And it's using Arcade as a drum kit designer, which is gonna be super useful it's going to be super useful for you in GarageBand because GarageBand doesn't have a drum kit designer. They have drum kits, but you can't edit what sounds are in them. And this way you can have your own drum kit using Arcade's custom kit function where you just drag and drop sounds into Arcade's sampler and you can make a kit. So this is going to be super cool, super useful. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to do everything. If you don't have Arcade, please use my referral link and you can get one month Free. They're not sponsoring this video or anything. They just give it to the people that have an account. But you can use mine for free and just test out, you know, the waters and see how you like it and see does it benefit your workflow. That's what it's all about, you know, testing stuff out first. Okay. So let's get into it. All right. So let's bring up GarageBand. All right. And we're going to pull up a plugin. And I'm just going to show you what I mean when I say there's no drum kit designer. This is, I believe, from Take a Day Trips Artist Packs, which the Artist Packs are super cool. So if I go to plugins and I go to the sampler, you can't bring it up, okay? You can't add and edit sounds. Like GarageBand doesn't have that option where you can have individual like drums and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you how to make your own drum kit designer in our... Yay. So what we're going to do is go to this plus sign and you're going to hit software instrument, create. All right. And then here where it says plugins, we're going to go to arcade and stereo. All right. And if your AU instruments are not pulling up when you try that, check out my video up there and the cards. Okay. See how to fix that. Okay. So then we're going to go to here these three dots and we're going to go to create a new sampler kit all right and then we got a new sampler kit so now we're in our custom kits area and this is where you drag and drop the samples into all right you just drag your drum samples um snare percussion all those things you just drag and drop them in i'm going to show you how and i'm using machines drum kits you can use anything from splice or you can use a free drum kit that you find on the internet and you can use this option okay i'm gonna pull up um, my drums all right so here's my drum sounds right here i'm using a machine drum kit all right so i'm gonna go to samples drums all right and i'm gonna find a kick that i like i like that that give me like kanye was good morning all right baby making you drag and drop that in and there it is all right Let's get all our instruments in here. I'm going to find a snare. All right. All right. So you take that and you drag and drop it right onto those dots on the white key. All right. And you can put them anywhere around the keyboard. Now I need a hi-hat. All right. And these are all the sounds that you need to make a full drum kit, okay? That's what I'm teaching you right now. All right. I guess I like that one. Drag and drop that on right there. All right. Booyah. I need an open hi-hat, actually. I got my closed one. I need an open hi-hat. I like that. Okay. Clap right there. Okay, and some percussion. There. So excuse me if I talk loud. I got my headphones on now. All right, so cool. So now we have our drum kit. All right. And the first thing you want to do when you do this is turn off the loop for all of these. All right, I'm going to turn off the looping. And then this has it at negative two. Sometimes it just reads it that way. That sounds right. If I put it at zero, which is, you know, where um, defaultly, you know, you would think it should be. It sound, it sound right at where they had it. But if you want to change that, you just drag that back. Okay. All right. So we got all of our samples in here. I think I want to, I want to snare. Actually not a rim shot. Let me change it. All right. Actually, I do like that. Let me um, use this. So if you want to change it, that's what you do. You just 
find a sample and just drop it where you had your old one in there. So the first thing you want to do after you turn off the loop for everything and you check to make sure the tonality is right, you want to save this kit just in case garage band crashes or something like that. So the way you save it is you go to this area where it says new sample kit and you go to these three dots and you go to save as all right name I'm gonna call it baby drum kit and then I'm gonna put in the description soulful drums because this is like neo soul type drum pack that I use all right and then I'm gonna save that all right and then we got our baby maker drum kit all right so let me show you how to make a loop let's change the name of this I'm gonna change the name of this track by double clicking it rename this track and we're gonna call it drum kit let's make a loop real quick go to edit it a highlight them all quantize it So you see how it just, um, when I tried to record more instruments in my loop, it um, made a new track and I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is go to GarageBand, Preferences. You want to go to Preferences, you want to go to General. And in this area, Software Instrument Recordings, I'm going to push Merge for Cycle On. So Cycle On, you want to push Merge, okay? So let's try it. All right, and there we go. I'm gonna fix that. All right, I just made something simple for this. Let me drag a loop in though, let's see. So the other thing you can do in here that you can't do with, you know, the drum kit or the electronic drum kit is basically mix your drum sounds, okay? So if we go to Arcade, let's just go here to Tweak. Okay, then we're gonna to go to the mixer. And what you can do is pan each sound. So what you don't want is all of your instruments to be just, you know, straight in the middle. So let's go to our um, hi-hat and our crash. So here we have our hi-hat. All right, you see if you hit this, or even if you solo it, you can, you can hear how loud it is, you know, without all the other instruments. So you can turn it down if you want to. Or you can turn it up. All right, you can also pan it, which you probably want to do. So I'm going to just pan that to, like, I'm going to do 15. So I'm going to solo my hi-hat, and I'm going to solo my crash. You can see, you can see it's hitting high. It's hitting loud. Turn it down. All right, and I'm gonna pan this like 15 that way. See, make it sound more professional. That's our that's our um snare, it's our drum. All right, want to go here? This is a closed hi hat. You can also edit each sound if you want to put some filter on it so let's go we got the mixer so we solo this because we're going to add a filter and see if it's needed actually we'll go to the sample edit we can turn on the filter we'll turn on the filter all right i can also add some reverb since it's already the reverb is going to already be on your sim one anytime when you make a new um, custom kit. So let's go to our hi-hat and we can add some reverb to our hi-hat. Add some reverb to there. We can add it to the crash. So let's add some reverb to there. Oh, I made a mistake and put it on the drone. Let me take it off. <laughs> uh, take that reverb down. But you can, you can put reverb on your drum if you want. All right, you can also solo these just to see like what you want to do for your next track. So 
I like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy these two. So I'm going to erase the hi-hat and the snares. And that's why I can put that at the beginning. Put that in. So let's hear it. So that is pretty much it. That was super fun. I know it was, okay? So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I got way more videos coming in the future, okay? 